So have you ever went to a Vietnamese restaurant or an Asian market or even a, a friend's house and you see these little altars or statues of Buddha and you don't know really what's going on? Well, I'm Vietnamese and I don't really know what's going on either. <laughs> so, so like I said, I'm Vietnamese and growing up, I grew up in America, born and raised in America. And honestly... My, my parents, which are from Vietnam, they never really taught me much about, about Vietnamese religion and stuff like that. Like, I would go to temple with my mom on Chinese New Year's, and I would observe her do, like, some of her religious practices. But I really don't know what's going on. And I feel a lot of people my age are similar in the fact that they, they don't really know what's going on either. And I think it's, it's quite interesting and sad at the same time that I, I don't really understand what's going on. My parents don't teach me that. And they, they focus on other stuff like, like school, right? But not much about, about religion. So I kind of just want to take the time and like do a little bit of research myself and um, and I also am making this video so that anyone else who might be wondering what's going on might maybe might learn something from the video. Disclaimer, right? I'm not an expert or anything about Vietnamese religion and culture. So if I say something and, and you know it's wrong or like you understand it differently than I do, then like you could be right and I could be wrong. These are just my observations. So I just want to talk about Vietnamese religion and their practices. So. Before I even talk about the practices, we have to talk about Vietnamese religion. There's a few. The most prevailing one that probably comes to mind is Buddhism, of course. But there's also a, a lot of other religions and beliefs that Vietnamese people follow. To be Catholic, Taoism, Confucianism, Gao Dai. Like, there's a lot of different stuff there. And the thing is about Vietnam is that you can basically practice whatever religion you want. There's not really anything that's religion that is banned or frowned upon. You can do whatever you want. However, th there is there is apparently religious persecution. So you have to kind of be careful. But I guess it depends. And for Vietnamese people, maybe less of like a religion, but more of just a belief is something called animism, which is the belief of spirits, that inanimate objects have spirits, and even your ancestors who have passed, their spirits are still here, right? There is no, using the concept of animism, there's no afterlife, or I shouldn't say, life does not end after biological death. It continues, and your ancestors are still here. And one religion that I want to talk more specifically about is Buddhism and some of its implications. So Buddhism, there's the whole thing about karma. You do good, good things happen to you. You do bad, then bad things happen to you, of course. So the goal of Buddhism is to try to do good things. And then when you pass, you get reincarnated. Again, life doesn't end after death. You get reincarnated. And your goal is to kind of go up the ranks. You have the reincarnation cycle, right? If you do good things, then you go up on that cycle. You definitely don't want to do bad things because you go bad. And then you might experience anguish. Just generally, I think most religions generally, is the aim is to be a good person. And for Buddhism, there's also diet. And especially in Vietnamese Buddhism, the diet, vegetarian or vegan. I'm actually not sure if vegetarian or vegan, but I know I know definitely vegetarian. And for some people, it's different periods of the time. You follow a calendar. For some people, it's always vegetarian, so it differs. So just to get some basic, uh, some of the practices that are observed, there's something called worship. And for worship, basically what you do is you're worshiping your ancestors, right? It connects back to animism where you believe that your ancestors' spirit is still around, so the worship, you worship them. And how you do this is by offering. 
So h- how do you offer? One way of offering is to like bring out food. And basically, I think, I'm not exactly sure, but I think it's just the idea of praying, like putting your hands together, closing your eyes and like saying it in your mind. Essentially, you're just saying in your mind or you're just thinking about giving the, the spirit of the food almost to the ancestors. Even though ancestors have passed, they're, again, their spirits still need nourishing. They have needs and desires just like, like us who are living. You can also offer money, right? Because again, they still have their needs and desires and we can help them any, help our ancestors any way we can by giving them money. This is done by burning money, like guff money, right? It's not like you're not actually burning money. But it's like, like gold or like even like cloth, clothes, cars. Like I've seen a lot of stuff you can burn. And another thing is there's these, the offering can be big. Usually it's like a big thing, at least for Vietnamese, Vietnamese people, you do like a whole table with like food, drinks, snacks. You, sometimes there's like flowers <laughs> and like a plate of fruit and then you light incense. So these incense sticks, you light them and it has like this distinct smell to it. And apparently that smell is like, is what the spirits your ancestors pick up on and they say, say they smell that incense and that's what invites them that's kind of their signal and another thing too about these offering tables is that there might be a few cells made in the house like you might have one in your dining room maybe one in your living room and maybe a setup an offering set up outside um and like even the food would change too so of course, if you're going to offer food to Buddha or like vegetarian ancestors, then you have to be cognizant of that. And for your others, maybe you do maybe you do food that's not vegetarian or vegan. And also, usually it could be home cooked food, you know, classic home cooked Vietnamese food, or maybe even store brought. Chinese food. Heck, my mom sometimes does McDonald's <laughs> because maybe, maybe your ancestors, maybe, maybe they want to have that. And yeah, you know, the setups in the different locations have different meanings. I know that a setup outside might not have the most amount of food, but not only are you offering food to your ancestors, but other there are other spirits around as well, and by putting a setup outside, you're kind of offering your food to them. While the setup's inside, you you leave the door ajar and you light the incense. And your setup inside is supposed to invite your ancestors. And the setup outside might be for spirits who are not your ancestors, just wandering spirits from other families that you feel might need food as well. And you know, these practices of offering and worship, they're usually, um, usually prevalent during certain days. So, of course, there is Chinese New Year. Usually Chinese New Year is, is when, even if you're not religious, you just still like, like do some religious things. Like I know for me, even though I wouldn't really consider myself, I wouldn't consider myself religious, but I still go to temple and we'll walk around lighting incense and putting them in a the pots looking at like the statues you go to like a big buddhist temple where there's like statues and it's like a room with with like a giant statue and you see people on their knees and praying and bowing their head down so it's usually a time where a lot of a lot of people go to temple and it's usually a family affair too like where parents will bring their children and so that's just example of one holiday there would be a celebration an offering and this whole big event and then there's certain days of decease so if your parents pass or you have a child that passed then you would also do like a special offering on that day again you set up the food on the table the flowers the the incense all that and that would be to basically just acknowledge and give your your blessings towards the ancestor that has passed a family member that has passed and so you know just a few just a few practices i'm sure there's a lot more there's a lot more different things, but they usually follow that same concept of there's like some spirit that you want to please and you're doing it for good fortune, you know, 
obviously there's nothing there's no scientific evidence backing any of this stuff up it's just like a belief superstition a belief and of course it's passed down from generation to generation so it's just something like all religions the belief and it's supposed to bring some sort of meaning to life other importance i mentioned family you know vietnamese is a very family is very important um in asian society a lot of asian societies are collectivist so you know you put family first and i think something interesting about vietnamese religion is that that whole thing about offering and worship it ties back to the importance of family because like you're worshiping your giving offerings to your ancestors which are basically your family members right in hopes that they, they bless you but also just to be uh, a good a good portion a, a good part of the, the family system but also another reason why you would want to offer and worship is so that when you pass you hope hopefully your children can follow in your footsteps of the worship and offering so that hopefully that the your children can follow in your footsteps of worship and offering you so that's basically all i want to talk about i think that thing about vietnamese religion and practices is that there isn't a large emphasis on religion right it's more about connecting with ancestors you know the whole thing about family coming first is very important and of course the beliefs and religion varies from people to people from family to family this is just what i've noticed and what i had asked around and done some research and what i've seen but i'm sure there's a lot of other explanations or reasons behind all this stuff but just a quick overview so yeah thanks for watching